agriculture because what we were bado people have to Correct. get uh, have to get pesticides have to get uh, seeds. seeds have to mm-hmm. get all this yes. agriculture and bado kama kuna pesa watakiza barabara hata kama ni kutekeza 1 km every year yeah. watakiza barabara yeah you know and, and and those are national projects when you take away maji cuz think okay, about you it, know those things need to be there one of the reasons mp's complain is that they are being forced ku kuwalipia watu vitu nyingi one of the biggest things that people uh, request you know demand payments from from the mp's from ni vitu kama medical bills uh, education though in fact those two things medical and education if they are properly taken care of there are so many other things that are gonna take care of, of themselves tajipanga to CDF has been declared unconstitutional. All right, let's so, that means let, your door so, so which means so the, w- one of the areas where a lot of MPs walikuwa wanakula ilikuwa ni CDF. And you like a, a, a kind of agree with that. Yes. I I also ag- I know I know that people will disagree with me because what asema tio sijui basa ilikuwa hapo na nini which first of all I think it's so problematic to give a member of parliament someone who's partisan uh, the ability to make a decision on who's going to get a bursary in that uh, yeah. in, in that constituency or not i think that's very dangerous on a, on a but i think the thought behind that was that because these are his people he should know or he should be able to work with people who are on the ground who should know that was the thought yes, behind it yes but, but remember I, I, i'm with you but remember that, he knows chief he knows missing he know, a pair chief but angalia chief, chief know people. but chief chief anajua watu chief is not part no, of chief is not taking part in no, election you know you know but but he's not taking part in election what, what, but chief is a government employee well, you know what, what, what you do, what you do with bursary yeah what they have they do have education boards right those education boards ha- are supposed to collect the data from the schools to know who can make fees like everything every, education boards initially run the schools they're supposed to be looking at how the schools are running and looking at everything at this right so the educational boards can be able to give you a clear picture of how which students can afford and can't afford uh, fees in that district so there is there is a way for it to be done and how to look to see uh, or who, who's falling behind because of poverty and who's not who's not falling behind because of so they can see all that they're supposed to be able to take metrics and see the performance if it's improving if it's improving or not the performance of teachers maybe they don't do that but that's what they're supposed to do mimi um the cdf why i i agree it should be taken out <coughs> mps should be advocating for legislative legislative work wanakuja na close na fanya they should be working with the local government of the area and ensuring that your constituent which is through a county is getting representation to ask for money from the national government to come and help and build you know job wana fakwa kitu yes waki legislate bills wana just asaidia watu wao wana fakwa ka congress huko no yeah not building gabions yeah. and cattle dips you know because so, agreed so yeah. with, with cdf going away that money is still there who's supposed to then now police this money so so that's something so so you see the supreme court the, county, yeah, the, yeah, the supreme court so saying. now now parliament Have has to, to come, come back with... and figure out because that money you know because essentially what the supreme court said is that um the members of parliament are performing a function that's not supposed to be there this is supposed to be an executive function so i don't know whether they'll create so you know like so some... they're sorting it back taking it back to the orezo No no, they, they, no 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 supreme court has oh, just said saying, this is a oh, constitution so are they it's saying it's, so if they're saying it's executive which executive so the pre- executive, so the executive the it could be the county executive it could be yeah. it could uh, be it, the it, national it, it has to go to the county governments yeah. to be able to, to do sense. this yeah. it makes sense it makes sense but then there's been this fight ya kumvutano ya pesa za kutoka gava back to the county and like the counties have agreed they've all agreed that the money should be x but the money never seems to get there but l- let me ask so you something this is even going to be worse let me ask you something why do you think every year 95 futengenezwa that's because we have systems that work my friend yeah, 95 futengenezwa kila mwaka kwa sababu but it's pesa, federal money ii pesa gava upeana utengeneze yes, barabara yes federal money so yes, how yeah, you can our gava you, is not releasing money even the counties are not uh, the and counties are not getting so, the money so, so, that's so, the problem so, so here so here there, there are two things here Mosh. you know like we 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 don't confuse 
So there's a portion of money that goes to the counties, which which is the one that has an issue that you're talking about. Correct. But yes. then there's also money because remember this national government is within Kenya. They are supposed to be yeah, doing there's projects money for education within for Kenya. There's money for education. There's yes. money for so many things. Correct. Yes. So now the the what the CDF has done, it has made some of these members of parliament so lazy, you know, because they know the only thing that's going to determine their re-election is uh is dispensation is, is, is ECDF. Yeah. So they're not they're not up there in the in parliament advocating Fighting. for yeah. money from the national government. Let's say the national government has 70% and the counties have 30% and then CDF is like 2%. Um these guys are supposed to be there in parliament or in senate pushing for to projects that, yeah. to come to their counties. Mm-hmm. Correct. But now because their focus is down here on controlling CDF. this money, yeah. They, they they they've really they've really lost uh they've really lost it up there and that's the reason why gava has been doing so many things there's no oversight you know like they're, they're just doing whatever they want there are some big projects that the government is doing yeah but under the presidential yeah under yes the presidential but, but the government is going they're going where they want to go and not necessarily where they should where be they going should be going yeah, because man. people people are, are pushing and and, and and i know you know like uh some laws will have to be created and some arrangements will have to be made because i think cdf had already been budgeted for for this coming year correct so i don't know exactly how that uh, that's how, gonna yeah, work how the dispensation and all that will but, but what i'm glad about is that this this bread basket that a lot of mps were eating for free from has been taken away because that's part of the reason why a lot of people it's not that one million uh shillings a month that's tax that that mps are running for they're the, running for, for the all these yeah. other cdf C- projects C- and all C- these C- other C- 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 sitting allowance uh, how i see how i see the cdf should be done right is because it goes to every constituency correct it should go to education it should be divided according to its role yeah according to education through the district education boards talk to the schools know which kids can't afford schools meals whatever everything make sure that's sorted out in education if there's money agriculture because what we were about people have to Correct. get uh, have to get pesticides have to get uh, seeds. seeds have to mm-hmm. get all this yes. agriculture and bado kama kuna pesa watakiza yeah. barabara ata kama ni kutekeza 1 km every year watakiza barabara yeah you know and, and and those are national projects when you take away maji cuz think we, about you it, know those things need to be there w- one of the reasons mp's complain is that they are being forced ku kuwalipia watu vitu nyingi one of the biggest things that people uh, request you know demand payments from from the mp's from if it to come medical bills uh education though in fact those two things medical and education if they are properly taken care of there are so many other things that are gonna take care of, of themselves tajipanga to apa washeke anasema some of these politicians remind me of some ceos who only work to please analysts quarterly but fail the company in the long run and this is the, this there's actually a book i'm currently reading i can't remember the name of the author but it's called kill the company so essentially that book is talking about how the way organizations are traditionally run is kind of like a killing innovation and creativity in the companies whereby uh you're forcing people to only look at metrics you know like quarterly sales um you're forcing people to look at short term metrics and that's what they're focused on so they can't engage in projects that will not reward immediately but uh which are going to be good for the long term and that's what killed companies like IBM IBM were leaders when it came to the personal computer but they were overtaken because of that focus on on programs like G6 Sigma or you know like uh, or, or just certain programs whereby you're boxing your 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 employees into thinking in this one way and that cannot bring out their creativity which i think is where our political system is even to an extent here in America but in Kenya whereby the MPs are now seeing you know like going to legislate is not is not bringing in any dividends you could you could propose some of the best laws ever uh and you will be voted out you'll remember the famous uh mp who was called jodonde who introduced some financial bill in uh, in parliament but but he was voted out yeah he was voted out but yeah. and actually his bill is still being enjoyed by people up to now yes 